what is up guys this is vishu from savage camp and in this video we are going to write a simple program to get currency and put it in a new file every day so this is the web page that we are going to use and just click on get free api register it's free so there's a limit of 250 calls but once you register you will get an api key i have put that api key in one of the files so i don't have to like show it so i'll blur this part out but it resides in this file api key and it is a good practice to store your api key somewhere else and not in your code because everyone can see your code in your company or anyone who is working on it so just make sure it's in a different file so let's start with writing our code so we have import request and from date time import date time so what we are going to do in this video is we will call the api and get the current exchange rate and every day we will put it in a new file in this folder which should be in this folder you can create an alert if the price goes down below a certain amount it's all up to you you can modify it in any way you want and the last part where we will create the file and write it in the file we will do that in this next video so in this video we will create a base skeleton for the program and make the request to get the prices and then modify our program to extract the currency that you want so let's start with currency class this is going to have in it and in it we have self dot api key which would be open api key dot read line dot strip let's do self dot url so url is going to be in this format all of this is present in the documentation so if I open this again, you will see it is present in the documentation and the kind of response you will get out of this. So we have the API key and we have this self.output is going to be empty and self.filename is going to be date time dot now dot string format time percent D percent B percent y so this is going to give me i'll show you how it would look self dot file name so if i call this class you will see it shows 8th of august 2021 so this will be our file name over here that's why i have the self dot file name so once we have the init let's minimize this and create define do request so this function is going to do the api call so res equal to request dot get url and then if response dot status code is 200 then just do self dot output is equal to res dot json so let's print self dot output so we can see what we get so if i save this need to do self dot url so if i save and run this you will see there's no output because we did not call do request so now i got a bunch of output that you can see over here and it's kind of messy so i am going to open there documentation again and here i can see everything is inside rates so i will call self dot output of rates and here we have only the currencies right now so let's call gbp so it's 0 0.87 so i think the base currency over here Let's see what the base currency is. So base currency is euro. 
So we can do euros to USD or euros to uh, GBP. It's up to you, whichever you want. Actually, let's go and check in their documentation if they have any option to to change the base currency. So potential errors, API response, API key. Uh, we have this so and base equal to USD so and we can also specify symbols so this will Drastically bring down our output to the things that we want. So let's put it over here So base equal to USD remove these spaces and Symbols is equal to let's do GBP and EUR So if I run this now we are not getting anything so let's see what is happening so let's see the status code first print res dot status code and res dot text so it's 400 base currency access restricted i think this is because we don't have a paid plan so this will not allow us to do this so if you want you can like try to buy this if you want I would recommend not to do this just do euro euro to maybe like gbp but don't pay for this if they are not giving it for free because this is like a small project so keep it like this and in here we know its rates and let's go for usd and run this and we are getting it over here so need to remove this so we are getting 1.78 and in the next video this is like seven minutes already so write to file will take the self dot output and print it and this is what we will do in the next video we will write this into a file so i think that is it a pretty easy program to write and you are actually doing something that you can modify into a project like you can create alerts and all you can change the base currency and create a github project out of this it's pretty easy in the next video i will show you how to do a daily price and how to set alerts and all so i think that is it for this video guys and i will see you guys in the next one